I have a message for the people of Lebanon. Israel's war is not with you. It's with Hezbollah. For too long, Hezbollah has been using you as human shields. I urge you, take this warning seriously. Don't let Hezbollah endanger your lives and the lives of your loved ones. Don't let Hezbollah endanger Lebanon. Please, get out of harm's way now. Smoke billowed over Lebanese towns as Israel launched widespread airstrikes against Hezbollah positions, with both sides preparing for a possible full-scale conflict. Israeli military spokesperson Daniel Hagar urged civilians in Hezbollah-controlled areas to evacuate, warning it was for their safety. This is an advance warning for your own safety and the safety of your family. Lebanon's health ministry reported over 492 casualties, including women, children and medical workers, following Israeli airstrikes. Israeli military spokesperson Daniel Hagar said the military would take necessary action to ensure the safe return of evacuated northern Israeli residents, while Defence Minister Yoav Gallant urged calm as the strikes intensified. Dozens of towns and villages across southern Lebanon, including Nabatye, Sidon, Majayun, Tyre, and areas in the Bekaa Valley were targeted. Cross-border fire escalated, with Israeli air raids in southern Lebanon and Hezbollah rockets reaching northern Israel. A dash cam captured a missile strike on Kiryat Bialik, injuring three people. The conflict intensified after an explosion involving Hezbollah's walkie-talkies and pages, though Israel has neither confirmed nor denied responsibility. Additionally, an Israeli airstrike in Beirut killed a senior Hezbollah commander. At a funeral, Hezbollah's deputy chief, Naim Qasim, declared a new phase, calling it the open-ended battle of reckoning. The recent Israeli attacks have claimed hundreds of lives, including civilians, and triggered yet another mass displacement of Lebanese citizens, further devastating a country already crippled by economic collapse and political turmoil. Yet, if Hezbollah remains largely intact, these attacks may fall short of delivering the decisive outcome Israel seeks. <laughs>